was a big battle one day, and we were all watching, of course, um, a parachute came out, and we recognised it was from one of our own aeroplanes. And to our horror, a German came in and shot him to pieces on the way down. There are a number of incidents on both sides where it was reported the pilots were deliberately shot at. Very few of those can actually be confirmed. One of the few cases uh, which can be confirmed is of German pilots who were deliberately attacked when on parachutes by one RAF squadron, uh, the Poles. Poland had suffered far greater brutality at German hands than even France had, and it showed. The Poles were fighting a different war. They were fighting the Eastern War, a no-holds-barred war. They'd seen Warsaw burn, their country was occupied, they didn't know what had happened to their relatives. Their relatives might already have been carted off. And whilst the British were out to shoot down aeroplanes, the Poles were out to kill Germans. And whether they were in the aeroplanes or out of them was neither here nor there to them. Well, we were very united. We just hated the, the enemy. And then all we wanted is to, is, to, is to get at him and shoot him. The two pilots I think a lot of us had more respect for than anybody else were both Poles, Joe Klein and Slagowski. When nobody else would fly, they wanted to. And that middle wallet one day, it was a pea super, the birds were walking. And over came a Jerry, and we could hear it above this lot, buzzing the field. We didn't know whether he was going to just buzz off or drop some it. And these two, these two poles were out and into the cockpit, screaming and shouting at the CO to let him go. No, no, no. And off he went back inside to the ground crew, away. And off they went into this fog. They hadn't gone 10 yards, they disappeared. But they got airborne. There were no runways. They knew there were nothing in front of them for at least half a mile, except two hangars. And they were airborne. And they disappeared. The CO was biting lumps out of everything. And then we heard this Jerry come over. I mean, they were most distinctive sound Jerry's. We heard him come over and immediately behind it, two Spitfires, and they were fi both firing at it. There were bullets everywhere, you know, and they shot it down. And when they landed, were they in trouble? But that's why we liked them. They were there to do a job and nothing was gonna stop them. The Poles were brilliant.